heavy was it? 200 pounds. vehicle to the stable and we got a little something to install on it today so we'll take you through the process
So that should be all sealed. pretty centered. Are you happy with this fitment? I think then we, tie, we strap it down. That looks pretty, pretty good. Position the cap clamps as far apart as possible under the center panel. The cap clamps as far apart as possible under the center, center panel.
So this is the lock position and that means that these rods are supposed to be in this Z orientation and is in the track here so you can't open it and then we'll gotta tighten these bolts down to that level and same for the other side and then tighten these boys with an allen key so these can't move and you gotta do it to the front so there's this gap so Pat needs to push it down and I'll tighten these brackets that way, like that. What better way to test out the Diamondback than with a 2,500 mile road trip to pick up a Beamer wagon? We rented a U-Haul auto trailer and it weighed about 2,300 pounds, while the Beamer weighed about 3,500 pounds. With some extra cargo in the Beamer, the Tundra was towing roughly 6,000 pounds with a 7,500 pound trailer ball and ball mount.
Total mileage is about 15.7 miles per gallon and we went 300 to 398 miles. Diving back has been pretty good. We're gonna have to see the inside when we get to our rest area just to see if it is watertight. Um, it looks pretty pretty dry to me from the seams. The gas was 86.47 for 24 gallons. And we put 87 in there. Got my cereal snack and this fill up was 11.7 miles per gallon and we did have severe thunderstorms according to AccuWeather and it was a lot of wind so not surprised there. but we didn't quite fill up an empty tank. Filled up 18, 18 gallons and we had 12.1 miles per gallon. So far it's not as bad as the GX last time we were towing with the GX. It was like eight or nine miles per gallon. So this is actually a lot better. I mean, obviously not the best, but it's better than eight, eight miles per gallon. fine it's way too heavy to be used as an auto transport but it is what it is uh, so in the middle of Wyoming we drove through a pretty nice thunderstorm what was that in South Dakota South Dakota South Dakota Rapid City and pretty heavy rains and I don't think any rain would come through from the front. I don't think anything's wet. It is very hot though. So nothing's really wet in here. Crossballs stay nice and dry. Same with the wheels and the table. But overall, I think we did a good job installing, and uh, it was as advertised and being waterproof, weatherproof. So, Diamondbacks get a thumbs up from us. Thank you. 